let us talk about polar coordinates uh, you should be familiar with the rectangular coordinates uh, polar coordinates is a different way of expressing uh, rectangular coordinates so before we start polar coordinate let us talk about rectangular coordinates you should be familiar say this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis say this is your x and this is your y-axis okay so we let us take any arbitrary point say this is uh, let us take a number say this is phi this is not drawn to scale say this is the origin this is phi on the <coughs> x-axis and say let us say take four on the y-axis so this point is in cartesian or in a rectangular form this is called point phi comma four okay so now this is called a rectangular or cartesian form uh, rectangular coordinate this is called a rectangular coordinate now rectangular coordinate now in real life imagine uh, you got a ship which needs to be rescued say this is uh, the origin this is the reference point say this is five nautical mine this the ship is five uh, units whatever that unit is on the x-axis and four on the y-axis and if you want to sh send a ship or a rescue boat to this vessel that is lying there you can't tell the boat to go five to the right and then go four up you have to have a way of describing it in a different way the, obviously you can understand the boat would uh, directly go, want, would like to go from here to here so how are you going to describe this path okay so now that that is where basically i think the polar coordinate of course it has got wide variety of wide applications so let us take this example itself now how are, how are we going to describe the rescue boat to reach this point which is in a rectangular form phi comma four so what we do is let us draw a right angle triangle say this is a right angle triangle this is the point so let me change color so we can say this is the angle this is angle uh, which is theta and this is the distance it has r is the distance it has to move now this horizontal distance is phi and the vertical distance is four let me change color so this is phi and this is four and this is a right angle triangle okay so using Pythagoras I hope you can understand r squared is equal to phi squared plus four squared so r is square root of 25 plus 16 which is square root of say 41 we'll leave r as square root of 41 now if you want to find theta we can use trigonometry or so toa i can say tan theta is opposite over adjacent so tan theta is 4 over 5 which is 8 over 10 which is 0.8 so theta is 10 inverse of 0.8 so let us use the calculator so this is shift 10 inverse of 0.8 will give me 38.65 so let us say 38 point or let us take it to 39 degrees as a whole number whole number so this is 39 degrees so how will we describe so we'll tell the boat the rescue boat to go how many meters or how many unit the coordinate would be uh, we can tell the boat you go square root of 41 so let us use a calculator how much is square root of 41 is 6.4 units so we can tell the boat you go 6.4 units whatever that unit is at an angle of 39 degrees and then you'll reach this point phi comma four now there is a convention now how there's a convention of 
expressing this angle anti-clockwise from the positive arm of the x-axis so whenever you're seeing theta so let me write so r is called the radial distance r will call as the radial distance or distance from the origin or or distance from the origin okay now theta is always anti-clockwise or counterclockwise from positive arm of x-axis positive arm of x-axis this is a convention of angle of x-axis okay now let us take a different example say let me draw an axis suppose this is your y and this is your x-axis okay now this is not drawn to scale again so this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis so this is say 24 on the x-axis and say this is negative 7 on the y-axis so this point is again imagine this to be a stranded ship or a vessel which needs to be rescued and this is the station where you're going to send the boat or a rescue team or a helicopter from here to this point so here again let me draw an arrow from here to here so the helicopter or the rescue boat would go from here to here so this is what it wants to go and here it will go clockwise so basically you have to tell the boat you have to travel at this angle theta and uh, this is the distance so let me draw uh, i have to do slightly so let me draw it exactly this is say this is this is 24 okay so this is your right angle triangle this is your r and that the distance uh, that is the distance that the rescue boat will travel from year to year. So we have to tell you travel at this angle for this distance and you will reach the boat or the vessel which needs rescue. Okay, so let us do the working. So here we can see this is, this distance is 24. So you've got a right angle triangle of 24 and 7. So I can say directly R is square root of 24 squared plus 7 squared so r is square root of i know square root of 24 is 576 you can use your calculator plus 49 which is square root of uh this is 625 we'll confirm it so that so 24 squared plus 7 squared is 625 so r is and square root of 625 is 25 so r is a pretty neat number so this is 25 so this distance is 25 now we want to find theta so again tan theta is opposite over adjacent so it is 7 over 24 so theta is tan inverse of 7 divided by 24 so let us use a calculator shift tan 7 divided by 24 that will give you 16.6 or 16 degrees or 16 yeah you can say 16.3 degrees to be exact to 1 dp so 16.3 degrees in 1 dp so this point okay now your theta is this is anti-clockwise so if you as i told you if you're going clockwise theta would be positive but as you're going anti-clockwise the convention is you say this is negative 16.3 so this point in a in a polar form this 24 comma 7 would be written as 25 which is the radial form r and theta is minus 16.3 degrees so in other words this negative tells the person who knows knows the polar form 
the person has to go anti-clockwise from the positive arm of the x-axis.